Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager 5 stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me, as always, unless it's when I'm winning a championship, is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with our 2023 Quebec Nordiques game because the people have demanded it. Everybody loves a winner, Jeff. And, well, if you missed well, our last Congratulations. You finally did it. I did. Took, well, what, we were, this is season five? We finally managed to pull it off. We even won for coach of the year. Just got to find the schedule here. Huh. Standings, I mean. Playoffs. Oh, look at that beautiful. I, there's something funny about us beating Colorado. Though I got to love it. Hi, Gudu. Hi, Tuke. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, it was an appropriate final. Yeah, four three. I mean, we were up three one, blew it. We're down two nothing, in the final. Tweak some. And Would have been better if you'd beat Montreal in the uh, run up to the final, but uh, didn't you they make weren't the uh, cooperating. Dead last. It took everything I had to get as far as we did, so we'll just take the win as it was. Over overtime game seven. What else do you want? And more importantly, we made sure the Leafs aren't on there. So that's good. Um, what else happened since uh, then? Not a huge amount. I mean, we won the Jack Adams. Didn't have any All-Stars, which is odd. Uh, basically, I signed a few coaches who wanted to, or a few scouts who wanted to come back. Um, got to the N NHL entry draft, which actually, just before I look at this... Um, Okay, yeah, we got Arizona's second round pick. And Minnesota's third, LA's fourth, Dallas's fourth. So we have some firepower to go up, which is good. Um, so we're drafting, of course, in spot 32. And then what did we say? Uh, Arizona. So we have pick 60. And 64 in the second round. So we can probably get a few more guys, which I'm pretty happy about. Jeff, is there anything else we should go over before we get started? No, Actually, no Kara, you think anything? Should we resign from our uh, team Switzerland job? Well, we did get them back into the uh, main uh, pool of the world championships, so you could do it one more year. Yeah, but what if we get somebody better offered, huh? Huh? What if we get a better offer? Yeah, you might. All right, we're going to resign from the national team. Jeff, there's a question in the chat for you. Oh, yeah, I could do. Incredibly. Actually, oh, yeah, that was one more thing. So our depth chart, just looking, um, we're going to have probably Carl Etienne Michael on this defense for sure. We're Marco Caravellas is going to be pushing for a spot. Uh... Andreas Borgman, who he picked up and came in the playoffs and actually played all right, should we consider re-signing him if he wants a deal just for some depth? Can't hurt, yeah. I mean, he had a decent season in, with the Islanders two years ago. He doesn't, and he's only uh, 27. It's not like he's 28. slipped that hard. Yeah. No, 28 now. Yeah, so we have some, we have some guys coming, but, you know, injuries do happen. And I just, well, maybe we'll see what he wants first before we, so upcoming free agents, Borgman. You know, he only wants 650000 We're actually going to have a really good AHL team next year. Cause we've got a lot of guys sitting at two stars, three stars. Yeah, let's put him on one way, or two way contract, and we'll offer him 150000 to be in the minors. He deserves more than a two-way contract. Okay, 200000 Okay, fine. I won't give him a two-way contract. It's only 650000 Okay. Yeah, it's still minimum. It's not that. It's nice to have the depth. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Tuke did make a nice picture that is available on our forums. Which is I good. saw it. It was a thing of beauty. All right, so the top prospect actually looks to be Elfer Leberg 
That is quite the name. Elf Elfar. Is that how you say that, Jeff? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Laberge. Elfar Laberge. Yeah, so he's three star talent. Like, he's re- repping and rev- ready to go. That's pretty impressive. With a Russian right behind him. I'm surprised he doesn't have a second nationality or anything. It looks like the only Elfars I can find Googling are Icelandic. Ooh, he is. Oh, no, there's no, there's no Sama Elfar. He is uh, not. He's very vulnerable, though. That's disappointing. All right. So let's just see who goes first. And it is, in fact, him. Much to the surprise of no one. Montreal has a second pick, assuming they probably take the Russian. Oh! Accidentally clicked the wrong thing and drafted everybody in the first round. All right, then. Thank goodness I didn't somehow hit CPU auto draft because that would have been disappointing, as I had would have to change everything. But uh, Connor Bedard goes second. The five star talent Russian, Vladimir Listiev, goes to New Jersey, actually. Interesting. So we're left with two guys we don't have any scouting on who apparently have five-star potential, but I don't believe that for a second. Um, taking a look here. The top Canadian left. Nice career there, Kudu. He just uh, posted one of his guys. Uh, too bad it was with the Hawks. Uh, the top guy left is a right-handed defenseman, Vince Weiford, who's Canadian. And he would be an okay project. Um, there is a... Uh, is that a Belarusian flag? Vitel Red, Oana? green. Red, red, green? Yeah. He's hurt. I'm thinking we probably take the Canadian. He's oh. a two and a half star Chinese uh, guy a little farther down. Okay, well, we can look at him for the second round. But actually, here's something we could actually use. Even though we're a little ways off, there's a goalie here. Nicholas Jones, Jones half star talent, three and a half star potential, playing for Red Deer. Is it crazy to go goalie first round? Even though that's kind of a weakness for us. I mean, other than the fact we have uh, what's his name for seven more years on a really reasonable deal. Yeah, I don't think there's, we're not really going to need to develop a goalie anytime soon. Just looking at the overall goalie pool in Minnesota to see what else there is. Yeah, I think we can skip this guy. Uh, okay. We well, got those two second rounds. A couple so. of. Yeah, that's what I was in. There's just two, three star guys. It'll probably still be around at that point. Okay, let's take Vince Whiteford. Looks like a pretty weak goal a year, actually. Oh, but his head's on fire. Oh, man. All right, what do we got here? Oh, where's the American? Richard McNeely. Okay, I like this guy. Center depth. Six foot one. That's who we're taking. 30 points in 46 games. Pick him. All right. Pick until human. And all right. Looks like more of a two-way guy. That's fine. We don't mind that for depth. Uh, what's your feeling on Spencer Allen? Six foot seven. Oh, yeah, we're drafting this guy. For the everything pick, else, just do that. He's a winger, too. Pick two county weeks crushers. That is a team name, if I've ever heard it. Yeah, we are totally taking yeah, that the, guy. Yeah, uh, the Maritime Junior A League. Heck, yes, we're taking him. Pick until human, and all right. Um, if we just, if we wanted to look for a goalie here, just going to sort by goalies. 
There is one three-star goalie left, but we do not have any scouting on him. So, probably not. Uh, might know second rounder, maybe. You got all those picks, might as well. Which one are you? Which goalie was that? Robert Herrick. For you don't have a scout working uh, the Czech, uh, oh, it's a Czech second division. He's playing, yeah, he's playing in the men's league. He's For the last two years, he's only 18. Really uh, solid injury-wise. All right, fine, we'll take him. And hope he's actually something decent. All right, second round is done. Moving on. What do you mean we don't have any scouting on him? It's scouted to level A. I have E on mine, so I don't know what happened there. No, I'm looking at your screen right now. It says A. This is showing. Oh, it's showing E on the other one. Yeah, it's on. It shows E A on his screen. I'll have to. There's a display error there somewhere. Okay, I'll get to know. Check that. Okay, so let's go looking for There's a name, Teg Adolfson. Oh, too bad he's hurt a lot. Otherwise, I would probably take him. Oh, whoa, we got an Ital Wait, is that Italian? Yeah. Italian Ricardo Capuano. We have no scouting on him, but that's kind of cool. And playing at a really uh, low level. Yeah. Let's grab... Uh... All right, we're going to grab Sterling Rucker. American left winger. Pick until human. Pick 96. Wait, what was that? Howie. <laughs> Louis Howie. There's a name for you, Jeff. Yeah, decent numbers. Guelph. Not much potential, though. Okay, winger here, Medicine Hat, Lucas Diaz. I think that's the pick. Looks pretty good, pretty healthy. Pick until human again. All right. Okay, Jeff, I want you to say this name. Just waiting for it to pop up for you. Yeah, it's going to take a minute for me to see it. I know. Yngvi like, Johansson. How do you say that again? Sorry. Yngvi? Yngvi. Yngvi. Yep. Well, like an I in the front. Yeah. Is he the pick? Uh, two and a half stars. There's also Anton Scoring Johansson. Like, like an offensive. Yeah. A little on the small side, but... Ingvi. All right, let's take uh, let's take Johansson instead. He's six foot two. Yeah, and uh, he's right-handed too, and those are a little harder to find. 
All right, now we're getting down to some of the nitty gritty here. Pick 116. Do we swing for the fences with uh, one of these? Oh my goodness. Yes, we are drafting this guy because that is ridiculous. What? He gets hurt, but <laughs> you just got to wait for this to pop up because I'm not even trying to say this name, but this is amazing. He is a Russian Japanese playing with HK Serov. Tsuyoshi Nakai. How do we not draft him? Six foot three. I love it. That's crazy and amazing, and I want him on. I don't care. We're just, even though he's hurt, I just want him just to say we drafted him. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably wind up on that uh, Russian team in the Asian League, but. Yeah, three star potential. It actually looks kind of interesting. Well, he's E scouted. Should we take another goalie here? We got a German goalie we don't have much scouting on. Ludwig Reinecki. Yeah, that's two and a half stars still. Worth a shot, I think. Well, there is still some three star guys left. Again, don't have them scouted. I don't think there's any goalies, though. No. All right, we'll take a chance with another goalie. And pick 192. All right. Oh, I think I see the problem why we're getting a different uh, scouting levels. If you don't have, if it's scout, if you've not scouted at all, I think it's defaulting to showing scouting level A on the uh, player screen that should be showing E. Okay. So it okay. is actually, is that those guys actually aren't scouted? The uh, graph screen is correct. That's okay. So you know what? That's he's that. he's still here. We're going to take the Italian. Ricardo Capiano and pick him at pick 192 and we have the last pick in the draft now now do we swing for the fence fences with the guy with the highest potential possibly I think so, unless there's something really weird with him. Or just out of curiosity, sort by current ability, see if anybody is oddly high there. No, everyone's half star. Or you can just look for, for the tallest guy like you did there. I love, okay, we're looking for the heaviest guy. It's a Russian, 241 pounds, six foot five. Sergei Pustovgovchev. Not sure how to say that correctly. I like checking out all the stats, Jeff. It's more fun this way. Yep. Why don't you draft the shortest guy? Oh, we can take a look at that. Five foot nine, Rasmus Iverson. No, oh, that's all you'd think it would be. Somebody a little shorter than that. We take Randy Moody. He's also 19, so he was passed over once. Uh, okay, let's just take a look here. Okay, here's a Canadian boy we could take. That's quite the last, or quite the first name. Jacobo Barachny. Yeah, we're going to take this guy. Two-star talent potential. He could turn into something. Yeah, decent rookie year in the OHL. And just like that, that's our draft. Although, uh, we're at, that's our scout that's saying he's got two-star potential. Everybody else thinks he doesn't have any. I believe our scout. All right. Let me uh, check who the report is from. 
Yeah, the, the, the scout that was from was from Albert Van Hook. So if he turns out to be right, uh, he's a genius. If not, it's all his fault. Okay, I gotta look who this who that scout is. Scout Van Hook. Yeah. Should sort by name. He has excellent evaluation ability and good evaluation potential. Works for me. One of your seven thousand scouts. Hey, hey, don't hate. Okay, now I got a guy who's not assigned. All right. Europe at large, no assignment. You missed that. Uh, you didn't have that check guy scouted. Do you need another one in Central Europe? Okay. So we want to put him on Central Europe. Nope, that's Eastern Europe. Central Europe. Good. Perfect. All right. So now we have some guys we need to sign. Uh, just taking a look. Borgman signed with us. <clears throat> we don't actually have a lot of contract room here. All things coming down the pipe. We only have four guys expiring. We are going to offer Evan McKinnon, even though we don't want him. We'll offer him his minifying. Minim minimum qualifying offer of 1715000 dollars He actually wants it for three years. But he's 23. I don't really want. We're going to need the room here. Um, unsigned draftees. Um, that's not what I want to do. All right. Nobody's actually ready. So do we even want to bother? Ready for what? Uh, to be signed. Like, it's uh, going to have any impact. Uh, what is? It? We're in 2023. We could lose Drew Sim if we don't sign him. And we probably, well, how many goalies? He's two and a half stars. Uh, I'd say give him a contract if for nothing else. We could, you know, maybe trade one of the other. We'll probably trade one of the goalies for a draft pick at some point. Well, we're probably going to have to... Uh, I don't like the offer of being a supplement. You're a prospect. Okay, so he gets an offer. Ido Itaguchi got up to one star, but I don't think we have room to offer him a contract. How many contracts are we at now? That'd be 47, 48. Oh, yeah, we're getting a little closer. Well, we can also um, try and move somebody, too. All right, let's sign him. Aito. Should I? Tr well, I might have to wait to try and sign some of these other guys. Okay, Sterling Wrecker will actually sign. Was he our... He was our third round pick. Uh, oh, do we offer him a contract? I might be mad that I didn't do it, so I guess I better... 
Okay. Um, you're saying we should dump a goalie? If we're what have we got now? Six? Yeah, two guys we're not signing. Uh, let's um, let's shop Halverson see if anything comes up. No offers for Halverson because <laughs> there's only one thing. Well, can we force? Not force. Anybody looking for a goalie? I think somebody must have a... Jets don't have a lot of goalies. Maybe starter. they would take him. Tampa's back up. Uh, Toronto's released at the end of the end of last season. He'd be better than Washington's. You know, there's a few teams with, bad, with backups that are questionably uh, better than them. Arizona has a really bad backup. Uh, so is Boston. He may be better than the Sabres starter, too. Okay, let's offer them a fourth round pick. What? We did. We did check to. Uh, oh, I don't know when you gave. Check that. what? Oh, he was just saying we need to check whatever. Okay, so we got a bunch of guys who yeah. now get thrown up, and everybody wants numbers that they can't have. So you're gonna get number ninety-one. Mattis is going to get number 93. Well, that's too bad he didn't get the number he wanted. You can have 89 for Brad Lambert. And Paul Toilet can have 72. Gardner can have 13. No problem there. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're at contract maximum reach now, so now we got some issues with those guys coming up. Uh, Mattis can go back down because he's only one star. Toilet's only half star, so he can go back down too. You're going to go down in the number of contracts, too, when you hit the first? Just by a few, but I said we got guys signed, so. Uh, Gudu, no, I don't know of any offhand that are like that. Be nice to have one, though. Are you looking for something specific? So kick these guys back up. What guys? The two guys I sent down to kick them back up. Sent Toilet back up. Even though I sent him down to the miners and it sent uh, Mattis back up as well. 
Oh, I'm gonna send him down again. You shouldn't be able to send him to the minors. He's uh, there, a junior. Who's that? Toilet. But they'll get returned to you on uh, July 1st, anyhow. Toilet shouldn't have been able to be sent down. Maybe that's because I edited him. No, he's to only 18. Uh, What's that, sorry? Yeah, if he's only 18, you would have to send him back to Quebec. Well, that's what I meant. I sent him back sure, to Quebec. But then he popped back up. Maybe doing that early on, maybe it doesn't do it exactly on the first, might be the end of the season. Him and Matt has popped back up, that's what I said. On July 1st, I can send him down to the HL, yeah. Okay, so Drew Sim signed to his contract. I can send him back down to the... I'll send him back down for the moment. To Vancouver, even though he's 20. Gucci signed. Send Bedini and Boquist away would probably be a good thing. And Robertson. Let's shop Robertson, see what we get offers for him. round draft pick okay the Rangers are offering us the guy they took it at pick 130 uh, probably rather have the draft pick and clear up the contract room now eh? that's what I'm looking but we could probably buy one of these guys out or put them or maybe they're on expiring deal. Or if somebody's somebody's rights instead of the actual player. Yeah. But I don't think we're gonna get any of those. Kevin Hayes, no thank you. Milos Roman, no thank you. Connor McMichael, reject. Declan Smith. One of these guys has to... Has to... Oh, second round pick from San Jose. Oh, there we go, yeah. J 
just checking out all the other offers. You're not going to get a better one than that, I don't think. I doubt it. All right, so let's go back and clear out these other offers. I like Robertson, but we got new guys to replace him. Second round pick. Yeah, complete trade all day. 2024 draft. Next draft. All right, so that buys us a little more contract room. Uh, let's Bendini. Let's shop him, too. And no offers for him. I'm not shocked by that because he didn't really play for us. Yeah, we just got him on waivers, didn't we? Or was that a trade? I think we traded for him. He gave oh him yeah, somebody yeah, it was uh, the guy who was going to leave anyhow. Lots of defense on. Lots of defense. All right, let's talk to the Capitals and see if we can dump them. I knew we shouldn't have resigned Boquist. I guess we could hold on to him for a little bit and see if he does anything. Let's uh, let's try throwing Mackenzie at Lassau in there as well. Okay, let's offer them that deal. Oh, they already have. Okay. Anybody they're trying to get rid of? Um, Declan Smith. All right, let's see if they all accept it in two days. a hockey game right now got a splash 23 thanks for tuning in and oh look at that positive categories up in every single one of them that's a beauty total season score 49 nice so let's go up coaching goalies coaching prospects Offensive training, defensive training, coaching forwards. Yeah. Continue. Washington accepts that deal. So we take on Declan mm -hmm. Smith, but we give up Boquist Idaguchi, who we just signed, and Mackenzie Entwistle. So that gives us three open spots of contracts, and we get their second, fourth, and sixth round draft picks next year. How much cap space do we have now? I think quite a bit. If I look, instead of accepting this, we're at 65 million with a few contract increases. All right, let's complete that trade. And Mike Sullivan is the new head coach of New Jersey.
Okay, so that gives us a bit more breathing room as we now are at 48 contracts. course now because it's june 30th to so july 1st jeff what's happening why does this take so long all the uh, new players are being added to the game there's a lot of different uh, housekeeping stuff uh, going on uh, i think there's a retirement check in there too somewhere basically all the things that have to be done during the changeover to the new year are being done right now so it can take a few seconds or a minute or two even to get through Makes perfect sense, but I'm sure it's a question some people have. So. Yep. Jeff, what did you think about the Clayton Keller contracts? Uh, Gudu says, I read Patrick Kane is getting his number retired by the London Knights. Is that number retirement? Meant rare in junior hockey. Also, he only played one season with them, and he's still playing in the NHL. It's not odd for the fact that guys are still playing. That happens. Maybe a little odd. He only played one year. And sorry, I got phone rang just as you were asking me about Keller. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal, uh, especially when he had kind of a down year last year after the rookie year. Okay, we just lost our trainer. Retired? Yes. So let's actually go hire that right now before I forget. Good plan. And looks like everybody else is still there, so. We want to go to free agents tab. And we're going to filter down just to trainer. at training skills. So how about Hal McLeod? Very good, perfect. Um, any other major things for us? Oh, Rick Dudley retired. So we lost a scout. 
Only one? Only one. Board confidence update. He is super happy with what we've done, and he wants us to be in the playoff race next year. All right. Not sure what happened. Your uh, stream picture got really blurry all of a sudden. Well, it looks fine on mine, unless I'm not sure. Might have oh, been just a, cleared up. Yeah. Might have been a drop in frames, which means this might not export to. Yeah. I YouTube. Oh, fun. Okay, Bobby Ryan retired. Brandon Manning retired. Lars Ellers, Sergey Bobrovsky, Ben Bishop, Michael Backlund. Development report. Jordan Stahl went down. Perfect. Tim Heed, Viskinen Pateran, Tucker Poolman retires from hockey at age 30. That makes sense. Keith Yandel, Eric Stahl retires, Spurgeon, Joe Pawalski. All right. Uh, is Jordan Stahl down to two stars, or is he still no, two and a half? he's still at two and a half. So looking at our mm. roster... Uh, we're going to send... Rucker down to Moncton at least. Actually, maybe I should send him all the way down to the. No, you know what? Let's uh, we're gonna cheat and send Sterling Rucker. We're gonna edit him. And we're gonna give him. Well, he was in the BCHL. So let's give him WHL rights. To Jeff, let's give him to Kelowna. How do you feel about that? Sure, why not? And so we'll send him. He is now with Kelowna. Contracted to us still. But he'll be in Kelowna. Let's save him. There we go. He looks good in that, your Kelowna colors there. Okay, so we're at 42 contracts now. Um, I think we're okay with that. Don't want to go too low. No, but we can look at some free agents here. And our team still is kind of in flux because there's going to be some guys who are on it this past year who probably aren't because I think Brad Lambert's ready to play. Damon Gardner's ready to play. Kawa Etienne Michael is ready to play. Micro Caravellis is probably ready to play too. So. No, well, like I said, good AHL team this year. Well, we can't send a couple of those guys down to the AHL. They have to go all the way. Um, so we're going to take the restricted free agents off. And you can sign Thatcher Demko. That's what we really need is another goalie. Samuel Motrembo. Yeah. I think, Tuke, I think you're right. Yeah. I hope it helps settle what uh, Connor gets. Um, oh, we could sign Mackenzie Blackwood. He's Why are you trying to sign goalies? I don't know. Why not? Yeah, I do have all, all of them. All the top guys available are all goaltenders, apparently. Other than Connor Hobbs. Oh, there we go. Sean Monahan is available. Jack Rosovic is available. The thing is, we don't really need anybody. Max Domi. Would you disagree with that? Is there something we really need? Uh, yeah, Bringing up the depth roster. chart for... Like... 
I mean, you got to figure if wood is going to have a noose bomber, it'll, it'll be improving a bit next year. Yeah. And Cop did well when the time he had last year, though he's only two stars. Jacobson is our stud. Gardner's there, ready to go. We got three good wingers, and the centers are, there's no one dominant center, but we don't have any, we got plenty of depth there. Maybe. What about a D? Uh, three good left defensemen. If you take right defensemen, that's going to be pushing Madsen or Murray out of a job. Well, I mean, Kara Etienne Michael has a little bit. We could start him off on the right side. Oh, yeah, he's going to. Yeah, he's going to be coming up anyhow, so that's. That's what I mean. I'd and, say if you take any. Uh, and then Kara Vellis is right behind him, free. and we can move him to the right side and train him. So maybe pick up a couple like lower rank guys, like two to three star guys, just as depth for Moncton. But uh, we've already got quite a bit there too. Well, we got Borgman who's going to end up down there, unless he doesn't go on waivers. Are there any big name centers? Nobody. Uh, I said Monahan. Monahan Domi. Were the biggest ones. What's their rating look like now? This is five years in. Lucic, good who says. Uh, he was there, yeah. Okay, uh, Kempe is there. We only had 18 points. Monahan, Domi, Kempe, Tyler Johnson, Alan McShane. Adam Godet. Just waiting for your screen to catch up so I can. Yeah, see, it doesn't get. Monahan is probably the best of it, and he's not going to be a huge upgrade for us anyhow. He's not going to put Rochette, push, push Rochette off the first line. No. I think we kind of got to roll with what we got. I guess there's one thing we could do is we'll reset the filter and we'll just top it off at 21 years old and see if anybody pops up who's interesting. Oh yeah, the undrafted and recently released guys. Hunter Jones, goaltender. Three star potential. We actually do need another goalie now that we sent the other guy down to the back to the dub for his overage year. does he want yeah he looks like six, he six, wants something weird uh, take it yeah good season last year in yeah. Iowa oh, you are a blue chip prospect other than that I don't really see anyone who's okay well okay a Russian American Andre Bakanov played with Saginaw in the OHL last year, had 108 points in 68 games. Probably going to wind up in the ECHL uh, for this year if you sign him, but. Let's offer him a contract. Yeah, maybe we're taking a chance on. If we can convert him into a center, that would not be a bad thing. I'm not really seeing anybody else who's jumping off the page here. I guess we should look at uh, not our upcoming. Well, yes, we can look at our upcoming free agents. Okay, Kernovic. What does he want? Five million for four years. Yep, definitely do that. I tried to get him for. Uh, see if I, I do it for eight years, and he's like, "No, I want four. Done. Okay, Theo Roche. He wants 3.873 for three years. 
I'm actually okay with that. Offset the two of them. Okay, here's a question. Is there anybody we should be buying out? It's July 1st. Um, rosters, contracts. Coast King Corva has not really turned it on yet, but I still have hope that he might. He's only 21. We could cut Adam Jinning and see if we get a different defenseman who might be able to come in. Although he only has one year left. Yeah, see if he does anything this year. Okay, unsigned draftees. Is our first round pick one of play? Let's play college hockey. That's fine. Oops. Our German goalie was only two stars. Our Czech goalie. I think we probably just leave him over there, especially if we get this other guy signed. Yeah, I don't know. He need to use a contract slot right now. Okay, Corey Clausen doesn't have, have a team. I guess we should probably sign him then. Yep, throw him in the CHL. Because he's still, I mean, he put up pretty good numbers. Well, okay numbers. Is he going to his overage here in Quebec? No, he's 19. Yeah, November birthday, this is over right here. Okay, there's this old stream name I haven't seen for a while. Lucas Rubin. What's that? I believe he was with our Florida Panthers game previously. 22 years old, one star uh, talent, no, two and a half star. Defenseman, Swiss defenseman who played in the SHL. He would give us a little bit more backup on the blue line. What does he want? 650000 Yeah, I'll do that all day. All right, let's advance. Maybe every time I see Lucic, I just laugh in the back of my head. Kind of amazed he's still in the league at this point. In 2023. One of my friends is a big Calgary fan. I've been ribbing him pretty hard over there. Looks like he stayed with the Oilers in this game. Guess nobody else would take him. We're going to get up to see if we get a new national job, and then uh, we'll probably call it from there okay. for the night. I am excited for hockey season to start now, less than a month away. And there's all our job offers. get an offer for the German national team. That's not bad. 
Yeah, just check and oh. see what level they're at right now. Sweden under 18 team. Slovakia national job. Germany, Slovakia are still in the top uh, world championship group. So do we like Germany or do we want to go under Oh, 18? wait, no, that may be, uh, that's, I'm looking at the old uh, do rankings. Do we go under 18 just make sure none of them I think that could be kind of a fun job. Could, no, yeah, it looks like neither, yeah, Germany and Slovakia are both still in the top pool. Neither one of them got relegated. Okay, what, what about under 18 Sweden? Uh, which, how many tournament tournaments do we get with that? We get the World Championship and... No, that's I that's the Under-20 team is the World Championship. No, I mean the World Under-18 Championship. Okay. And you also get the uh, Helenka Gretzky Cup and you'll have that in uh, August. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Under-18 Sweden. All these other offers. They were the uh, bronze medalist last year is the, for the under 18 uh, world championship. We could be Estonia, Israel under 20. That would have been interesting. I'm guessing the Italians offered us the job since we drafted an Italian. So we have Team Sweden under 18. And there's a few trades. Winnipeg trades a second round pick for Cam Talbot. Well, we could have gave him that. And all right. Negotiation updates. The Roche signs his deal. Kyle Kernovic signs his deal. Excellent. All right. With that, thank you very much for tuning in to yep. another Franchise Hockey Manager 5 stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we are at Franchise Hockey or you come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums. So we can talk about franchise hockey manager, Allen Park baseball, perfect team, or just about anything else you want to talk about. Jeff, did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. Hopefully, we'll have some uh, more news for you next week on uh, FHM six. Uh... Getting very close to be able to announce all the uh, stuff in that officially. Excellent. And Hunter Jones just signed with us. Perfect. All right, so thank you very much, and we will see you all again next week.